We're kicking up a storm today with meteorologist Jacob T. Okay, the asparagus was our last step earlier. Right. Now, do you think it's about ready? It is, yeah. We had our chicken thighs in there. We had our asparagus in there. We've got our carrots and our potatoes that have been there all day long. And uh, that asparagus is that last step. You want to make about 20, 30 minutes before. And, uh, you know, you get home right away. You throw the keys on, you put the asparagus in, you can get ready for dinner. <laughs> Let that cook for 20, 25, 30 minutes until it's nice and, uh, um, you know, it's Tender. not crunchy. You want it, you yeah. want it cooked, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and some people like it maybe a little bit more firm. Some people maybe a little more soft, but uh, you can cook it to your preference there. We're Ooh, ready to open big... this bad boy up. <sighs> yeah, a little Whoa. steam there. Our chicken thighs are in there and uh, potatoes and carrots are as well. And uh, it is ready to go. It's got that nice seasoning blend. You can have the nice smell in there. It does. It smells it, amazing. It does. So do the flavors that you have of like your little, you know, season mix kind of soak into the asparagus? It does. And that broth that's down there at the bottom, that mm -hmm. uh, liquid is also going to help that to mix. So. Okay. So you're putting the asparagus kind of as your side. A little bit. Yeah. We're going to get a nice bowl out of this first off. We want a nice uh, bowl, a, a dish here. When you see the thighs come out and whatnot, uh, it's going to turn out to really well for this here. So we're getting a, a thigh. One thing you can do as well, some people I know like their chicken thighs a little crunchier. You can't take them off, put them in a pan and broil them for a couple of minutes if you like a crunchier skin. That doesn't bother me here. I'm hungry. Okay, I'm try question. Something. I know you are a big fan of the thighs, a big fan of the bone in, the skin on, but don't you feel like all your seasoning is going to waste because you're not going to eat that skin, are you? You can. I mean, it's edible. Do you eat the skin? Yeah, I do. <gasps> you yeah. do See? not. The Stop it right now. Oh you my are gosh. so lying. I'm A serious. Lot of people do. That's where the flavor That's the fla is. Exactly. That is exactly where the you flavor don't? is. You don't? You Ew. waste all that seasoning? I do. That's exactly what it is. I feel like we've wasted the seasoning because nobody eats the skin. No, no, no. A lot I of people like eat the skin. I feel like a lot of people eat the skin. You don't eat the skin. That's I think we have to take a pull now. So anyways, we got a nice little harvest bowl going here. Some potatoes okay. and oh, uh, some asparagus the on there. How about the last thing we want to do is take a little bit of parsley. You can see my bowl there. We're just going to sprinkle some of this parsley on top. Oh, look at that. Yeah, and uh, this is really there you go. Fancy. Full of flavor. It's ready to go and it's nice and delicious. A great meal there. You've got some of your chicken thighs cooked all the way through. Nice and tender fall off the bone. It screams like harvest. Yeah, exactly fall. right. Yeah, you got those carrots and the potatoes. The nice classic harvest really vegetables. Good. Asparagus has uh, been always really popular in the fall, and uh, that flavor of those seasonings makes this a perfect dish for fall. We wow. want to try it. Okay, we let's, have time? let's so try a carrot. Someone like Heather could use a chicken breast. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Yes, you, you really could. I do enjoy chicken thighs, but I get them boneless and skin And off. you can do that as well. Uh, $1.99, bone in. I'm like, it, the meat's going to fall right off, so it's going to be pretty tasty. Mm. Heather's trying a bite here. I'm going to try a little bit of the, the meat. Um, yeah. I think it smells so good in here. Doesn't it? Smells it? Like Look at really that. Do you see that? that? That thigh just broke apart on me there. I mean, it is so <laughs> tender. Mm. Go up, grab a little piece of meat. You know, usually also when you cook things like this, the chicken gets a little dry. Right. All that juice in there, you keep it there, it's steaming it. There's a lot of moisture. I got to be a meteorologist, I want to keep the humidity up in this time. We don't <laughs> I like don't, that in the summer. I don't want to get any skin crockers. on my bite. Oh my gosh, that's so that's wild to me. Okay. okay. Well, this is. We got to go. <laughs> this is a chat in itself. <laughs> <laughs> his recipe, as well as his secret ingredient um, seasoning. That seasoning blend, that's right. Yes. We'll have that posted. Um, he has it on his Facebook. We'll have it on our website after today's show. Thanks, Jacob. This is Great. good.